hello you're welcome how to solve for x and y in this nice equations here let this be equation one and this be equation two from equation one we have root x plus root y equals to 10 from here let's square both side that is we square everything on this side i also square this side then here the expansion here we follows from where we have a plus b all square we same as a square plus b square plus 2ab then from here this becomes root x squared plus root y squared then plus 2 times root x times root y then equals to 10 square here that's 10 times 10 that's 100 then when we solve this further yes square cancel square root also square cancel square root so we have x plus y then plus here we can bring this together and this becomes two to bracket square root of x y which is equals to 100 from here and root x y from equation 2 that is given to be 10 then here we can replace this with 10 and this becomes x plus y plus 2 times 10 then equals to 100 from here and what we have becomes x plus y plus 20 equals to 100 then let's take 20 to this side that is here we have x plus y equals to 100 minus 20 which implies here we have x plus y equals to 80 now from here let's call this equation 3 from here and also from equation 2 which is root x times y equals to 10 also from here let's take the square on both sides and here we square everything also square this side square we cancel the square root here then this gives us x y equals to 100 on this side then from what we have here when we make x the subject let's divide through by y then here we have x now remain now equals to 100 over y then that is here let's substitute the value of x here back in equation 3 that is what we have in equation 3 now may not be 100 over y that's x then plus y will not be equals to 80 from there then when we solve further here let's multiply through by y in order to clear this fraction then when we multiply through by y here remain 100 then plus here we have y square then equals to 80y then when we bring everything to one side and rearrange here we have y square then 80y comes here become minus 80y then plus 100 now equals to 0 from here and here we have a quadratic equation whereby a equals to 1 b equals to minus 80 then c equals to 100 then when we use the quadratic formula here y will now be equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 ac over 2a that is we substitute the value of a b and c 
and we have y equals to minus minus 80 plus or minus square root of minus 80 squared minus 4 times 1 then times 100 then close brackets then over 2 times 1 then this becomes y equals to this is plus which is 80 then plus or minus square root of minus square is plus then 80 square we have 6400 then minus here we have 400 then over 2 from here which implies we have y equals to 80 plus or minus square root of 6400 minus 400 that gives us 6000 then over 2 and also here we can rewrite this as 400 times 15 and we have y equals to 80 plus or minus square root of 400 times 15 then over 2 which implies here we can separate this as square root of 400 times square root of 15 and root 400 here that's 20 then times root 15 then here we now have y equals to 80 plus or minus 20 root 15 then over 2 and also we have 2 common up here and we factor that out this becomes y equals to 2 into bracket here remain 40 then plus here we have 10 then times root 15 that's plus or minus then over 2 so here 2 cancel out then here we have y now equals to 40 plus or minus 10 root 15 so we have two values for y the first one y1 equals to 40 plus 10 root 15 then we have the second one y2 and that's same thing as 40 minus 10 root 15 and that is here we can get the corresponding value of x from the relation which we have that is we have x plus y equals to 80 in equation 3 and when we make x the subject here we have x now equals to 80 minus y so we use this to find the value of x here that is x1 now will be equals to 80 minus y1 which is 40 plus 10 root 15 then we use minus to open this bracket here and x1 will become 80 minus 40 then minus 10 root 15 that is 80 minus 40 that's also 40 therefore x1 equals to 40 minus 10 root 15 and here on this side the first set of solution x1 comma y1 will then be equals to x1 here we have 40 minus 10 root 15 then y1 that's 40 plus 10 root 15 then also on the other side we can also get the value of x2 using the same relation and x2 here equals to 80 minus y2 which is 40 minus 10 root 15 and here minus open this bracket so we have x2 equals to 80 minus 40 then plus 10 root 15 then this is x2 equals to 40 plus 10 root 15 
So also here we have the second set of solution x2 comma y2, and that same thing as x2 comma y2 equals to here x2 that's 40 plus 10 root 15. Then y2 that's same as 40 minus 10 root 15. And these are the solutions to this given a problem. Then, when we discover this, we see that the x here is serving as the y here, and the y here is serving as the x here. So when we check for this solution, this will satisfy the given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos. Turn the notification bell on. Put your comments in the comment section. And give it some so see you next class and bye for now.